How's it going, everyone? Liam Kennison here with episode 12 of Firefly, which is called The Message. I don't know why. I, I don't know. L reading that reminds me of Doctor Who, so it's like, The Message. Yes. We don't talk about that episode, Time of the Doctor. We don't talk about it. Anywho, um, yes. It, it, last time out, we saw naked Nathan Fillion, and I don't think anyone was complaining. Like, literally, nobody was complaining. Wash was just, you know, not responding. Um... Mal was just, you know, embracing the openness and all that. So, yeah, I think nobody was complaining. And I was just like, well, yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, no, it was just a really, really great episode with Saffron returning, of course. Um, and how deep it got with, you know, Saffron and, you know, her ties to, you know, people. And, because, of course, she's married to everyone, of course. But there was that one person that really seemed to have struck a chord. But it was just a really, really fantastic episode, especially seeing Saffron return. Um, you know, her and Mal, like I said, do make a really, really interesting, uh, duo. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I doubt we'll see her again, considering, you know, we've got two episodes left after this and then the movie to get through. So, but, um, no, I'm really, really interested to see what this is about. It's episode 12 of Firefly season one. Let's go. In the history of humanity, fruit Ooh. of alien life. That's right. Go ahead and laugh, sir. I but very much doubt that. You're crazy. Will change your life forever. My phone. It will haunt Someone your dreams. Get the white coats. Harrow, yes, the, the brown coats. Soul. The white coats. Yep, it's a cow fetus. <laughs> Guess so. You're more or less. You're you literally the only girl in the world. Uh. Hmm, that's a hell of a thing to say. I was joking. Oh, no, uh, I get it. I, I do. Yeah. Back on Osiris, you probably oh. had nurses and debutantes crawling all over you. Oh, but no. down here at the bottom of the barrel, it's just me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. thinking. I'm glad I rated higher than I'm, Dead uh, Bessie here. <laughs> Nagatsu Naimu, Tongmu, Shengmei. Oh, my God. That went well. Task. Oh, and there's something in a jar. <laughs> Away, from my mother. So, do we trust his mother? Yeah, one of them's a doctor. My dear boy, I hope you Technically, are well. Technically, she's not wrong. <clears throat> that you get this soon in your travels. Warm in your travels. Hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Your mother. How's it sit? Pretty it looks nice. It looks nice. I think it's the sweetest hat ever. Man yes. walks down the street in that hat. People know he's not afraid of anything. Damn straight. <laughs> What'd y'all order a dead guy for? <laughs> I doubt he Oh boy. Oh boy, Bow's gonna save it, isn't he? Oh shit. Nope. Zoe did. Zoe, of course. So so this guy's a brown coat, right, cool. Thanks. I thought he was Mal's brother, if anything. Well, he might still be, but... I didn't know you were out there. Sort of point. Stealth. You may have heard of it. I don't think they covered that in base. I haven't. Don't ever let them know where you are. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, and... You are coming! Die in two! Come on! Come on, two! Oh, Mal! <laughs> Everybody dies, Tracy. Someone's carrying a bullet for you right now, doesn't even know it. The trick is, Might die not. old age before it finds you. Yeah, exactly. You still cut through the 22nd at the school system. Really, really deep, but... Make a decent stand there. Got a point. Well, I can't do any good here. Very, very interesting, then. Well, them dealing with remnants of the war, I guess. Did we get something fun? Ouch! Even <laughs> lectured by River. And you two are the only people I trust to get me where I'm going, which is home. I'd like my body to be with my folks on St. Albans. We got the family plot there, and my mom and dad. Well, they deserve to know I died. Uh, you know, it's funny. Oh, we went Jane. to the war, never looking to come back, but it's it's the real world. I couldn't. Oh no, let Can me I guess. They're looking for. You are an ugly looking Tracy. little quim, you know that? Look, if there's a problem, well, that's you know, rude. you're asking yourself, ugly as you are. 
Our repulse of broken manners. Captain Reynolds, that we're coming, and you'll wish that we burned you. Bung Ma? Go ahead. Jesus, these guys have Don't issues. Find us a corpse. Threatening to burn him alive. Wow. And then they called him ugly, so it's like, these guys are not really the most respectable bunch in the pack. It's good work. Scar's nearly invisible, but... Hiding well, something. Let's see what's in there. Jane could be like that. Cold. <laughs> he ain't dead. It's everything. All the moving parts. That's what I took, Mal. That's what they want back. Mm. Tracy, you gonna tell me what in the chin show dough you're talking about? Sure, sorry. Sure. I'm sure his heart picked up as well. Ooh! Go, a clinic in Ariel. They were to open me up, take out the goods, and put my own workings back. That's sure. why he stitched up again, because he's a. F oh Another my buyer God. was willing to go three times the going rate. It's enough so I could get my folks off that rock they've been forced to live on, set them up someplace better. Someplace warm. Oh. That's real nice. It's a kind of a grim job. I think they're about done being stalked. Ah! Ow! <laughs> that army buddy's on the bridge. He ain't dead. Oh. What's his reaction? Five minutes from Atmo. Oh my oh. God. Bring up the terrain specs. Keely, get him out of here and strap in. This is Captain Reynolds. This is really, Ow. really bizarre. Myself in one scrape or another. Yeah. Sounds about to drag y'all you... into this. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say you being in scrapes. Dangerous. Pretty much our business. Sounds familiar. Still, you got this. If you got put in a bad spot at all, Kaylee, I'd be real unhappy. Get ready for hard burn. Take it crazy to follow us in here. Oh my. Sam's gonna be kicking himself. <laughs> Now, they're on top! Oh my god. I didn't think of that. Nah! <laughs> you, you don't. You just think they come from behind? No. Oh lord. That's, um... Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not kidding when they say they're dangerous. What are you saying, Preacher? I'm saying we make good on what we said we were gonna do. Let's call them. Fly uh oh. Let them board. Give ourselves up. Ooh. It's our only choice. We let these men board, we're taking an awful chance. These boys ain't playing, Preacher. I'm aware of that. And we're running out of options. Oh, no. Don't you move. Don't anybody move. Oh. Look. All right, we need to power up. We need to run. Now. Put that thing. You're putting out, several right? people's no lives in danger. Shut it, Shepherd. Or I swear to your God, I will shoot you dead if you do not. Yeah, we don't want to do Sorry. this again, Chef. Zoe, what are you doing with this Bible thumper? Wash off the cops. But no, thank you. Do it. No! Oh shit! Oh! <sighs> you have to be done. He you was not playing ball. That's enough shooting. What? Ow! Everybody, calm down. Got scraped on the Get head. Oh! Get out of there! Oh! No. Leave Ke Now, I hate this guy. I hate this guy now. You hear that quiet? It means a call's already been made. Well, that call... That call means you just murdered me. Oh... Come on, don't put that on them. Ah! Ah! No, son. Just saved me. yourself. I just carried the bullet a while. All goes back to that talk, isn't it? I don't imagine it would bother anyone if we laid your bodies to rest at the bottom of one of these canyons. He's a black sheep in the Alliance, isn't he?
What a stingy ass. Ah, it makes you look like an idiot. No, it doesn't! Leave him alone, I think it looks cool. That guy just gets off insulting anyone. Um... Mess up. You, you weren't that far off about me being stupid. I... I never could you get my life working up. right. Oh. Not once after the war. To be fair, walking in on that... Yeah. Kaylee, um... I'm so sorry. I... I didn't... Sorry. Right here. <laughs> um... That stupid message of... This is rough. This is rough stuff. When you can't run anymore, you crawl. And when you can't do that, well... Yeah, you know the rest. It's just a shame it had to end like that, but... Yeah. I feel... I, I think the uh, thing is that you feel so much for Mal and um, Zoe as well. Pretty, pretty rough stuff, especially dealing with, I guess, remnants of the war and, you know, losing that. So I, I was hoping in some capacity he was going to stick around, like, for a couple of more episodes. Oh. So, yeah, that was a really powerful uh, episode of uh, Firefly. I really enjoyed it, um, especially the ending scene. I thought that was really, really uh, beautifully um presented and it was just really really great <sighs> damn it tracy i mean he jeopardized something that was intended to save his life of course but i mean to be fair you're, you're like discussing this out loud and then the cliche oh i walk in at the most inconvenient time not it's not going to go down well of course but um you know that that is part of I guess him, you know, reacting the way it, uh, way he was is part of his character. I'm I'm guessing with, you know, Zoe and Miles' description of, you know, basically having to babysit him from doing something foolish. And, you know, that's what he did. So, um, yeah, it was just really, really heartbreaking for Miles and Zoe to witness, of course, you know, them trying to save his life, but ended up having to put, like, him down before he would cause more damage. Because... He was being a bit unhinged anyways, like, uh, especially when he was, like, when he held everyone at. I'm wondering, if, you know, why? I'm trying to think, could they have not shot at his leg, maybe? Um, as a way to, um, you know, put him down, maybe? But then again, he might still have a hold of the gun, I don't know, but... Um, you know, they they had this idea for Shepard to wave off the uh, Alliance uh, people, who I guess were corrupt, of course. And yeah, it was it was it was a good plan, of course. But of course, like I said, it all had to go down south. I just really loved, you know, how um, you know how they presented Loss uh, before he did woke up. That was that was a very very shocking part to me, but. Uh, of course, uh, with Tracy showing up as, you know, the dead uh, corpse, um, you know, they, there was a lot of, there was a lot of loss. There was a lot of great feel, feeling about loss and how they were coping with it. I mean, you had Mal and Zoe share stories involving uh, Tracy. You, ha you had Jane emotional and, you know, talking about living life the best you can. It was just a really, really uh, brilliant presentation of how loss was portrayed uh, early on, of course, before uh, he woke, uh, before he woke up, which was, um, like I said, a very, very surprising shock, of course, but also shocking to see what he ha uh, had become, uh, smuggling parts uh, in his body. Really, really bizarre stuff, of course. Um, but yeah, it was just really, really, you know, great to uh, to go through this episode entirely. Um, there was a lot. Of, there was a few more, you know, cliches, I guess, than Tracy just walking in as they, uh, you know orchestrated a plan that wasn't really what it seemed to be of course um i guess with you know simon and um kaylee falling out after that badly worded comment uh kaylee turns her attention to tracy of course um and 
I, I, I'm surprised, actually, you know, Simon didn't walk in on them two or, you know, have any interactions there. But it was it was just really, really, you know, I thought the beginning, May, May I Add, was just one of the best openers for um, Firefly. I think they used the same music from episode two. Um, like the, uh, yeah, I think it was. But yeah, it was just one of the best ones, like from uh, Wash's reaction to the alien, of course, to... Um, you know, that awkward falling apart between Kaylee and Simon, of course. And that's the thing, though. It's not the first time that Simon has said something a bit off, of course. But that's the thing. He's bad with words, um, I I believe. And I can totally relate. Like, uh, I always feel like I'm going to say something bad anyways. Uh, or, you know, say something that doesn't mean to offend, but I did anyways because I'm a complete imbecile. Um, not that Simon is. I mean, he's a, a professional, of course. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, he, it's not his first rodeo in terms of, you know, mucking it up when he's conversing with KB. I mean, he did back at Janestown, um, and, you know, here we are again, so. But, you know, he, you, you can tr- try and see what he means, but he just gets it completely wrong, so. Um, yeah, it was just really, really bad for him to do that, but, uh, like, it was bad in terms of, like, you made, you mucked up there, you mucked up there, but, damn. Uh, but, it seems like all things was water under the bridge when, you know, we had that beautiful ceremony at the end, of course. I also enjoyed the um, war flashback as well, discovering Tracy and all that, and like I said, discovering who he was character-wise, not to, to Mal and uh, Zoe, of course. I also just loved the exploration of how jolly the character of Mal was, um, because, you know, war changes people, and... Um, I, I really loved to see, loved seeing that enthusiasm, stu- uh, stubbornness from Mal, of course, where Zoe was the more serious one. Um, it was uh, it was just really really uh, great to see. But we, like I said, we've only got that with Serenity. But overall, I thought this was a really really uh, interesting episode. Of course, with them hiding out from the uh, Alliance guys, and then Shepard just shutting their crap down. Of course, and you know, I really loved how well it wasn't. You know, intim- well, it was kind of intimidating, of course, um, in a sense, of, like they were trapped and, uh, um, you know, they hatched this plan for them to get on board and then, you know, sort that shit out from there, of course. Not with how uh, Tracy perceived this, of course, but I was going to say, it, uh, the adversary, the corrupted alliance guys, of course, they weren't really as threatening as they were rude of course like they were they took the time to insult everyone they insulted the guy who gave the who gave tracy to to serenity they ins- they insulted jane's hat like come on i like it and i think it fit it clicks with it, it it actually does click with jane for some reason um no i really really loved this episode it was just really really great that's all i can really say i mean i don't really have any extension uh, extended comments about this episode with just how you know, god damn it, um, you have, like, that's what you can say to Tracy, like, god damn it, because, of course, he kind of mucked it up, of course, but it was just really, like, I felt, though, with how they played sadness in this episode was really, really great, like I said at the beginning, and at the end, um, but it was just really, really, you know, interesting, the concept with, you know, who Tracy was, being that kind of smuggler, of course, um, yeah, that's all I could really say. It was just a really, really enjoyable episode, and it was just really great to see Mal have this extra opportunity with another person from his past, of course. But of course, that was taken away when he had to make the hard call. But it was, I, I re- that's another thing in terms of the sadness and, um, you know, this episode, of course, like uh, when Mal and Tracy had that kind of standoff on the bridge. It was just, you, you saw the sadness on Mal's face, of course. And I just really loved how, you know, he re- referenced the bullet, you know, he was talking about in the war, like, you know, there's a bullet, uh, basically with your name on it. Um, you just, I, I guess, have to wait for old age or, I don't know, a virus or something to take you before the bullet does, of course. And, uh, you know, that bullet was... Uh, that bullet came from Mal, so yeah, it, it it it's just really, really you know heartbreaking to see that come to fruition. But yeah, anyways, it was a really, really fantastic episode. I just really loved you know um, everything uh, as usual with Firefly, but it was just really, really great, especially the beginning. Like I said, I think that was one of the favorite, my favorite parts, especially with how humorous it was. 
Um, but it was just a fantastic episode, and yeah, you just feel so bad for Mal and Zoe, especially considering, you know, they had to, you know, um, really say goodbye rather than, um, you, you know, it was, it's funny how it worked out because, you know, they thought they had to say goodbye to the first time and then there was that bit of hope when he gave that shock uh, revival, of course. And they had a plan to keep him alive, but then it ended up with him actually being dead. So um, it was, it, you do feel a bit for Mal and Zoe, especially since that was, I guess, the only call for things not, uh, not to escalate uh, aggressively. But yeah, great episode, loved it. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!